So after you've been parking and rafting for a while, you'll be able to do all of this on the fly as one fluid motion. You won't need to break it up into these separate steps. Uh, that probably isn't going to happen from understanding it in a logical way. It's going to happen when your hands decide that they know how to do it. So you can't push it. It's practice 15 to 30 minutes a day, every day for a few weeks, and suddenly like magic, you'll probably be able to do it. It'll happen when you don't expect it. Um, it's something that your hands have to learn, not something that your brain is going to learn. So when you get to that point, you'll be able to do all of it at once. And so here I am, the spindle is spinning, and I'm drafting at the same time. And when it slows down, I can just give it more of a spin, and I can keep drafting, and I can keep going, and I can keep going, and I can just keep going. But now I have so much yarn I can't really reach and control, and it's really awkward, so what do I do? Well, there is a great Andean trick for dealing with this, and that is to walk the yarn up your fingers and then you can store it there under tension and it's not going to kink up on itself and tangle and you can manage a length of yarn that is longer than your arm span you can manage a very long length of yarn indeed and we're going to see more of that as this progresses